Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to do another unboxing video. This is going to be the first unboxing video for the year for my channel and I'm so excited to do this. I recently got the Sony 6400. I just did a uh, unboxing video for that one. Now if you want to see the unboxing for the uh, Sony 6400, I'm going to put the link over here and just click on that one. I bought the uh, 6400 mainly for video. Sony has their eye autofocus was really amazing. I just wanted to use that for video. For photography, I have been shooting with the Canon 80D. Even though it's a crop sensor, I've really been loving the photos that is coming out of this. The Canon 80D is actually good for video and photography. But now that I have learned more about photography, I wanted to take my photography to the next level. I wanted to go and try out the full frame system. So I finally pulled the trigger. Now I have decided to switch to the full frame system. Here you go guys. So I got the Canon EOS RP with the uh, 24 to 105 f4 RF lens. Now if you're gonna ask me why didn't I go with the Canon EOS R, the only reason I, why I didn't get the Canon EOS R is because I just wanted to try the new RF lenses. The Canon RP with the 24 to 104 lens is actually the same price as the Canon EOS R with just the body. So I just decided to go with this one. So that way I would be able to try out the uh, RF lenses also. With the purchase also comes with the Canon EOS R adapter. By using the adapter I can actually use all my old lenses for this new camera. This is a mirrorless camera and the future of photography or videography I just opted to go with the mirrorless one. When the uh, Canon EOS RP was first announced or released there was no 24 fps and their autofocus wasn't really not that great so i just waited for it canon actually did an update for uh, the canon eos rp and the canon eos r but with this update the uh, autofocus was greatly improved and based from all the other reviews that i've seen on youtube and also with the uh, current update they also added the 24 fps if you are a videographer then you would know that if you really want to have those cinematic look shooting with the 24 fps is really going to give you that cinematic look now the uh, canon is rp doesn't have any battery grip but it does have the uh, extension which i also got the only reason i got the extension is for the feel of it since the canon rp is a bit smaller than the canon 80d it really kind it really feels awkward holding it now let's do the unboxing all right first we need to get the knife of course to open it so we have the manual as you can see it says canon esrp now seriously guys who reads the manual just comment down below if you still read manuals i mean you know. then you have your strap right here you got the battery out all right i'm guessing this is a lens pouch we have a lens pouch for so most of the uh, canon uh, lenses they actually come with pouches but i don't think i'm gonna be using this okay, all my lenses to just stay in my camera bag i really like the packaging they made and this kind of plastic material that is really it really doesn't look like that cheap there you go guys i don't know if you can see it so okay i'm guessing this is the uh this is the rp and then the lens is right here and that's it oh wow it is really light there you go and there you go okay first impression it's it's really light. Canon AD is really a, like a dinosaur and it's really heavy. Now with this one, it is really light. Now let's take a look at the lens right over here. Wow. Dang, look at that. That is a heavy lens, my goodness. The Canon extension grip. So straight out of the box, I mean there's really nothing in it. You just have this bubble wrap. There you have the extension grip. 
put this away. There you go. Next one is the Canon the adapter. So you can use your EF lenses. Shout out to Canon for doing this. There you go. You have your bubble wrap again. And you have some manuals here. It's actually in Chinese. No, it's in Japanese. Uh, ooh, look at that. This is cool. So I like that it comes with this pouch. It's a strap on. So that's actually cool. And inside, you have your adapter right over there. All right, now let's put this together. In order for you to put the extension grip here, you need to remove the battery door. And the way you do that is you actually just need to press this thing right here. So you're gonna press this. It has an RO up, so you just press it up and then it should release the battery door. Now, one thing I hate about this contraption is there is no way for you to store the battery door. Unlike the battery grip for the uh, A to D, you can actually put it on side of the battery grip. But for the uh, RP, you just need to put this aside and hopefully it doesn't get lost. Very straightforward, you just screw it in right there. And there you go. So with the battery extension, it actually adds up like, I don't know, like one inch. So now my pinky does not overlap the camera. Now I have a firm grip, as you can see. One thing I also like about the extension is the fact that you can actually open it. You can access your battery right over here. You can put your battery and your memory card without taking the extension out. So good job, Canon. Now let's check out the lens. Just comment down below if you want me to do another review for the Canon RF24-105 f4. But it's just a quick uh, look on it, as you can see right over there. One thing I like about this lens is you can actually lock it right over here. Unlock and lock. So that's a good feature. And um, even though this is a kit lens, this from based from um, all the uh, reviews that I've seen, the uh, RF lenses are really sharp. One thing I like about this also is the focal length is in f4. So what that means is whenever you're zooming, your focal length is going to be constant to f4. This is actually really good if you're doing videos. So it does have image stabilization, manual, and autofocus. This lens is really heavy. <laughs> And there you go. So I was actually deciding whether to get the uh, Sony a7 III or the Canon RP. Don't get me wrong, I really like Sony and their autofocus. It really depends upon what you're really gonna use it for. I was really thinking of just staying with Canon for photography. So if you are buying a camera, my one advice for you guys is do a lot of research. You really need to know what you are Gonna be using it for if you're gonna be using it for more for video or more for photography or for both then you really need to look at the reason why you want to do an upgrade so that's it guys thank you for watching and thank you for staying i basically just want to uh, do a, like a short unboxing video for the canon rp and i really don't want to go into details about the specs and all that I just wanted to talk about why I got it and the reason why I got it and why I think this is the camera for me. Now once again, as you guys know, there is really no perfect camera. My advice for you guys is if you are going to buy your first camera, just really find out what you're going to use your camera for and just based from that you can build your rig and you can really go and um, buy the lenses that you really need because there's a lot of good lenses there just get a camera that really does what you need for what you are doing fit for a landscape or if you're shooting sports if you're shooting portraits then just focus on that just build your lens around it just really invest more on lenses because at the end of the day it doesn't really matter what camera you're using based on my opinion is just you really need to get good lenses invest on good lenses go for the ones that has big apertures like 2.8 1.8 and just really focus on that one. 
so that is it for me guys i hope you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing video and if you did just give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel don't forget to comment like share and subscribe i'm probably gonna do a video when i've really used it for some gigs and all that and always remember just to stay safe guys and i'll see you on the next video